I thank the gentleman from Missouri, and I'm very concerned again about these motor takeovers from the federal government. One thing that I'm very concerned about, a story came out today where uh, there's been approximately 1,500 letters, I believe, that have gone out to GM dealerships. One story that came out today, there's a dealership that I know of that applied to their Democrat senator to appeal for help so that they could stay open. That senator was able to arrange a meeting between the dealer and the officials at GM. We all know GM is now government motors because it's owned by the American people. It's been nationalized. There's no private corporation the way we used to think of GM. Now the main stockholder is the American government. So this Democrat senator who was applied to for help was able to secure a meeting with General Motors and the car dealership and they were able to get their dealership back. Well, that's great. That's wonderful. There's also another article I saw today where uh, a constituent had contacted one of the representatives, a Democrat representative, here in this chamber, represent Bernie Frank. Bernie Frank was able to go and talk to the right people and get this dealership back open. Is that what we have come to in this country? That rather than a private business with a private contract with another private corporation Corporation. They're no longer able to work out their agreements because as columnist Michael Barone has called, he said now we've moved into the realm of gangster government. We have gangster government when the federal government has set up a new cartel and private businesses now have to go begging with their hand out to their local hopefully well politically connected congressmen or their senator so they can buy a peace offering for that local business. Is that the kind of country we're going to have in the future? When I was on the phone today for over an hour with one of my local dealers, the very first thing out of her mouth was this. She said, this is the most un-American thing I have ever seen in my life. I can't believe that I live to see the day that my country would come to this point where Having my dealership for 90 years, I get a letter FedEx to me that tells me I have until Friday to sign this document to not only give up my company that was made worthless, worth $15 million, made worthless overnight. Now GM is demanding that she hand over her customer list, her service customer list to GM. Why? GM most likely will use those customer lists. They'll give it to her former competitors. What is she getting for this? What's her remuneration? She had the rug pulled out from her and from her husband. They virtually lost everything overnight. To what? To what Michael Barone calls a gangster government. We need to call this for what this is, my colleague. We need to call this for what this is. Call it out. The American people need to get outraged and figure out that it could be them next. No business is safe when you see the administration appoint czars car czars, wage czars. There's over 20 czars that have been appointed. And what do those czars do? They bypass the Congress. We're the people's elected representatives. We've been bypassed. We now have an imperial presidency where the president has appointed various czars, appointing directly to him, and now he's reaching into the confines of private businesses and overnight rendering them virtually worthless unless unless they have a special tug a political tie to a local democrat congressman is that what we've come to